All right, good afternoon. I got a bit of an idea. Of, well, I got something to jump into right now. Um, it's a bit of a <clears throat> bit of a self reflection, and and allow me to get into this and explain. Uh, so, so uh, I, I'm facing a bit of an issue uh, that I have not faced, um, or, or or rarely faced, maybe at the beginning, but I've never faced uh, in, in 31 years of my life. And it's similar to something. It's similar to when you're, I would say, anywhere from, see, when you become very conscious once you're about five or six years old, right? You know, four to, okay, yeah, whatever. Typically, by the time you're six years old, you're in first grade, okay? So by the time you're six years old, you become very conscious, right? And we all go through this, and I'm going to talk, and it's with all kind of clothes uh, in general and certain accessories and things like that. But... I'm going to use the example of shoes, you know, because uh, the thing is that, you see, the issue is that you're six years old, right? And you bought some clothes and shoes that you like. Now you're eight years old. Those shoes don't fit you. Now the clothes you can get away with, okay? Because you can buy baggy clothes that are really big. And then you can just, they used to, in my day, they used to call it growing into your clothes, okay? You would get baggy clothes that were really baggy. And in about two years, they fit you. So they would last you two years or three years. Or you would wear them till they were a bit tight. So they would last you four years. <laughs> All right. But, th but the thing with shoes is that when you outgrow, when your foot gets too big for the shoe, your foot doesn't fit in there anymore. So you cannot, you, you know, you got to get new shoes. So I have a similar issue, but it's not with that. I have outgrown in some way my shoes and my clothes. Okay. Let me explain that. And, and again, you know, it's a, it's a bit rhetorical. You know, again, end of December, three, uh, almost four months ago, end of December, I finally began a cycle of growth and change, right? And I've talked about that. But here's my issue. As of now, almost four months in, um, I have grown so much and grown so fast and changed so much and changed so fast that it's like I can't fit in the same place that I fit into the world previously. I'm starting to move too fast uh, for my spot and for who I am in this world, which means I have to get bigger and grow a little bit. Or, or I have already grown and got bigger, right? And well, what happens when you grow and you get bigger? You become too big for, for something and you need something larger or better in order to fit into it. Right um, now, this much I I, I I figured I'd be able to talk. I don't have anything else to talk about, but I'll, I I should find a way. Well, let's let, let let's get a bit detailed. Let's get a bit detailed. So, um, so you know, so so oh, how about this? So prior to starting that, I, I talked. So okay, so I started uh, I started with these codes that um, that I developed mentally. Okay, so I had met codes that, that I was, you know, I could see mentally, but I wasn't writing, putting them into writing, right? That was about, I'd say about April or May, maybe, no, maybe, maybe May. Maybe May of last year, I started to actually put codes into my, now, now I told you that two years back, two, two, like about two years back, I started, you know, writing and whatnot. And, and, and I had, a, I had a, a, you know, something that kind of woke me up or, or kind of, you know, helped me was having communication for a little while with somebody who shared things that I shared and, and was a similar body type to me, more similar than anybody that I ever knew in my life, uh, really. You know what I mean? So that kind of set, that kind of, that kind of, that was a bit of a turning point too, that set me in the right direction. Just having that person communicate with me remotely, that, that, that helped me. But anyways, moving on. So it was about May of last year, May or June, that I started developing codes mentally. I started doing codes. Um, and then it was about July, I'd say, maybe late July, mid to late July, that I actually started learning to apply the codes to real life. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna get in. I'm not even gonna get into what I was doing because I don't want to give it away. It's my, it's my like, it's a, it's my patent. You know what I mean? It's my patent. I don't want to put it out there. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather forget the patent than 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 put it out there. Anyways, so 
late July started doing this thing. Yeah. Uh, I, so up until about the end of September, I, I, I've been doing this, right? And, and I decide, and I've been making major changes in my life. And even people are shocked. Somebody actually called me Houdini. You know, are you Houdini or something? How did you manage to do this? Are you Houdini? Somebody called me Houdini, by the way. Now, <laughs> now, at the end of September, I turn a new leaf. I say, look, all the coding I've done, I've actually practiced at it. I've gotten better at it. I gotta start. I gotta start new, because it's messy and I didn't do it good enough the first time, I gotta, I, I gotta start I gotta start over. So I start over in the beginning of, of October. I finish about, this time it only takes me six weeks. From beginning of October to middle of November. Okay, the coding, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Or not a hint, I'll tell you a little bit. So the coding involves lots of numbers, lots of letters, and, and, and it has a lot of components to it. And you gotta find a way to enter it into a, into a place. I'll give you an example. When we were kids in the 90s, we had MS-DOS. I don't know what that stands for. Microsoft DOS. I don't know what D DOS stand, stood for. DOS was an app that you opened on your desktop computer, right? And it was an app, like with, with the box, with the X and the, and the square and the minus sign here, right? The minimize. So you had your box and it was all black and it was a little thing like a typewriter beep, beep, beep. and you would put codes. You would put literally, it, there was a coding language for Microsoft developed by the biggest genius in the world, Bill Gates, when it comes to coding. Okay. I recognize him as the biggest genius in, in coding in the world, in the history, in the modern history, whatever. He was the biggest genius of codes that I know. Okay. Now that's how for you would put letters and numbers and the letters and numbers would mean something. And then you could literally create programs from, from just letters and numbers and pressing enter and all that stuff. It was an advanced coding language, but you got to find a place to put it in. Okay. You can put it in at a computer. You can put it in over. I'm not even going to give you to tell, tell you what you can put it in over. Okay. Cause I don't want to talk about, it. but at the beginning of October, I deleted everything. I said, I got to start over. And I got, and this time I got to make sure I do it really well from the start. Not, not cause when you, when you do trial and error at the end of your first uh, trial period, you can do much better if you restart. So I decided to restart on October 1st, the 1st of October, the 2nd of October, I restarted, deleted everything, started the coding by mid November. I had it done by the end of November. I started kind of, my mind kind of was getting tickled. My mind was getting tickled and it was opening to, to all these sorts of things. And, and I was really thinking outside of the box. Uh, by the end of December, I, I still remember, by the end of December, I actually hit a point where I finally was able to change it, bro. I had, I had pretty much cracked my own code that people did try to crack and were never able to crack. I cracked it myself and I got out of it, okay? That was the beginning of my life. Now, now here's the thing. So in detail, so so it was activity all the time, all the time activity. Got to be active all the time. Got to be active all the time. You know, I'll give you one hint. Doing things mentally and improving your mental strength is kind of a bit better than paper and pencil. The problem, and I'll tell you, the problem with paper or pencil is that everything is there. So if somebody happens to see it, I mean, I mean what, you just gave away all your stuff. You gave away everything you know. That's why I never wanted to write a book. I write a book, now everybody knows everything in that book. I don't want to write a book. Now, that, that individual that I was dealing with remotely, he, he sent me some stuff, some material, and he told me to upload it, and I did. He gave me a bunch of material, right? Uh, uh, and he told me, upload it onto, uh, online. I, I, go and upload it online. Okay, I won't tell you where I uploaded online, but he gave me a bunch of material and told me to upload it online. That was two years ago. And I did as he said. I did as he said. He was much, he seemed much more confident, much more knowledgeable than me, uh, much more experienced. And, and I was, I was really, I was craving what, 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 cause, cause I was listening to the stuff he was telling me. It was, it was, it was off the hook. So I was really craving that. So I was like, wow, you know, and meeting somebody just like me was like, you know, wow, you know, now I'm not the only one. And, and, and I learned, he, he, you know, he was teaching me even stuff about my body. You know, I'm not talking about, you know, it's like, I'm talking about like biologically and stuff. He was teaching me stuff about your body. Do you know you can do this? Do you know you can do that? Do you know this is possible? And I was like, wow, this is actually possible. Really? Yes. Because you have this kind of body type that you didn't know you had. Now I'm telling you that your body is capable of such and such and such and such. Wow. I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me. 
eventually it was like he was getting a lot of pressure that he was giving me too much information and i was i was rising too fast with everything he was giving me he was pressured to leave he didn't tell me he wanted to leave he gave he gave me just kind of pressured me into you know I, you know i could I tell he was being pressured i said okay that's okay you leave go your own way and do your thing that was a lot of that now uh, so, so, so you're not right. You know, mentally you can get a lot done. I mean, I could sit here doing nothing, just sit here for an hour staring at the wall. Okay. And I can, I can mentally build up my, my mental power and it doesn't get written down. So I can have like, I can, I can be literally, first of all, I don't need to write that. I can go through words in my head and I can write up, write a news article every day. You know what I mean? By the way, I don't pre-prepare any of this. So I don't get it confused, but I'm just telling you how, how strong men, I remember when I was a kid, I told you how I was very good at that math thing. It was called mental math. I never saw anything beyond mental math. Oh, what the hell? I never learned how to do log division because it was some bullshit ass. You take this, you carry the one. I, I don't know what the hell they were doing. You know, I only knew about mental math. In my head, I went 12 times 5, 60 right away. You know, I learned it right away. It was like, boom, 9 times 9, 81. You know what I mean? 72 divided by 9. Is it, uh, what, nine times nine? Is it, it's eight. It's eight. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that. I did that one. I did that in the 90s, by the way. That was 90s. All right. The 90s decade when I was doing this mental math. But uh, uh, to do stuff mentally to me is better. Now, if I'm dropping bomb shit in my, uh, mentally, I don't, I, I don't want, like, this is different. You know, this is kind of a personality thing. But but I don't want to, this is almost like, anyways, I'm not going to get into this. But mentally, you, you can make yourself strong. So I did a lot of that stuff mentally. Um, I, um, I, I'm not going to go into everything I did, but, but I basically use every facet that I could, that was available to me at any moment. Um, and I used it to basically put in work. Okay. No, I was not robbing a bank. That was a long time ago, but I was putting in work and uh, I was growing really fast. Like, like, like it was, it, you know, it, at first I couldn't believe it, but I was growing. And I was taking everything with me, uh, uh, from before, right, and, and whatnot. And then when I get into, um, I think it was a month ago or three or four weeks ago where I put in the one percenter, I told you about, the, no, I, I told you I was in the top 10%, I told, no, first I said I was average, now but right, then I was 10%. Typically when you talk about people collectively, they fall in the median. They may not be below average, but they may be just above average. So, so, so if you're just above average, just consider yourself as part of the people. Okay, I, I just just to be honest because people collectively is everybody, so you got to you get a median line, you know, typically, right? Am I right? Am I right or am I wrong? Okay, so uh, to continue on, so so I did a lot of stuff, right? including these videos. Well, these videos are really oh, I mean, these videos are cool though. It's cool to share. You know, I, I like doing these videos by the way. But I did a lot of different stuff and I was growing. Everything that they were throwing at me to deter me was helping me grow because you can't grow without challenges and de deterioration. The more they deter you, the more energy they put towards you, the more they hate you. It gives you all that, like they're giving you energy for free. All I had to do was turn my, the top of my head into a solar panel. They were throwing sunlight at me left and right. And, and with the solar panel, I just turned it into energy. Uh, kind of like, a, and this is another thing that, that anyway, I don't need to go. So it, it was just like putting a solar panel on the top of my head. All of that shit that they were throwing at me to deter me, to make me feel worse, uh, uh, to make me feel worse about myself, to, to, to use me, to, to, to put me in my place. All that energy they were throwing at me just went into the solar panel. It helped me grow even faster, even better. Right, but that's my story. So to finalize, what else is there to say? You know, you can go back to this video, but I will, I will, I will briefly explain. It's it's the same as when you, when when your feet are too big for your shoes. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know I mean? it's, it's it's the same thing. It's the same way. You can't. I can't sleep in a crib for the rest of my life. I'll need a bigger. I'll need. I'll need a bigger bed as I grow. I get a junior. I get a queen. Or I'll get a junior. I will get a queen. I will get a king. Yeah, eventually I'm on a king bed. Right? Same shit. Same shit. All right, I'm done. And I'm going to say uh, good afternoon again.